Hello everyone, I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, we're going to see get how to uh, enable a uh, users get directory get under uh, Fedora get Apache web server, okay? So assume that uh, you have your uh, web server up and running already. Get, uh, get this is just a test get, uh, for your local web server. And then I'm using the uh, <clears throat> A bridge, get a bridge, to get network setting, okay? Bridge and network setting, yeah. And then get, uh, assume that get this is my uh, IP address get of my uh, web server, okay? Yeah. And then get, I can uh, uh, use get another browser from a client machine and then type in the IP address get of my web server, and then you can see that get, uh, everything works fine. And then uh, again, okay, you say, okay, uh, what has it to do? Okay, uh, what has it to do with the uh, uh, user's directory? So, okay, I assume that okay, you assume that okay, you might have okay, an, a department look like this, okay, sub department, like maybe uh, let's say uh, music, right? Okay, and then okay, they want to have their own website, or maybe some uh, faculty, okay, like Zhang Do, okay. Uh, something like this, get okay, under your uh, again companies okay, or institutes get okay, domain, get okay. then get okay, uh, how do you set one up like that, okay? Uh, so here will be again some real world scenario, okay? Some real world scenario, okay? So this is uh, some faculty in uh, uh, okay, UM, UMass, okay, Boston, okay? Yeah, and I don't know the professor at all, okay? But then this is okay, uh, her website, and let me increase the. Uh, UIL, okay, so again, uh, this is a real world scenario, okay, yeah, so, uh, so, okay, again, okay, uh, how to set up, okay, uh, sub website, okay, so, for example, for this, okay, uh, faculty, okay, and then again, okay, uh, anything under it, okay, will be, will have this tutor, username, something like that, so let's see, okay, how do we do it, okay, how do we do it, okay, so, uh, over here, my note say that, okay, uh, step one, okay, uh, use kind of the root users privilege okay, and then change to this directory, okay? Change to this directory. And then get okay, you edit, get okay, use nano or whatever text editor you like. VI is fine, nano is more straightforward. Uh, then uh, you can edit okay, uh, this okay, conf configuration file, step one. Okay, we'll talk about details later. Step, uh, this step one, step two, okay, then uh, you want to update your uh, get, uh, security enhanced get Linux policy. Okay, so those will be uh, the uh, steps you need to do. Okay, uh, over here. Okay, then step three. Remember to start a web server. Okay, and then step four. Uh, okay, uh, set up okay, a website. Okay, for a department or for uh, okay, a faculty. Okay, or a teacher. Okay, staff. Da 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 da. Step four. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. So let's try step one first. Okay. So let me put this one get aside okay. and then get, let me switch to the, uh, let me clean the screen first, okay. And then get, uh, switch to the root user by using the su command, okay. So su, I'm not going to tell you the password, okay. Yeah, there you go, okay. So you can see that uh, the password okay, has been changed, okay. Uh, it seems to me the host name got used by someone else. Okay, so let me just reset it back to local host. Okay, yeah, keep it simple. Okay, uh, let me try it again. Okay, and then okay, yeah, switch back. Okay, okay, now it's, it's easier to read. Okay, yeah, okay, so let me change to root. Okay. And then HTTPD, okay, and then CONFD, okay, yeah. So, okay, you can see that, okay, there is a config configuration file called user directory, okay, user dot dot uh, uh, config, config, conf means configuration file. Again, okay, uh, over my note here, okay, I say, hey, I mean, uh, if you are new, okay, uh, to this okay, configuration file settings, okay, then maybe you want to make a copy first, okay? Yeah, so let me do that, okay? Let me do that, get okay, cp user dir.conf, get okay, user dir.conf, get okay, dot b o g b k main backup org it's up to you okay yeah it's, it's just my my personal style okay that's it and double check it okay pretty good get okay, the file get 
uh, got back up already. Okay, in case that is something uh, did not go well, okay, as you expected, then you can uh, still get the original setting back. Okay, yeah. All right, now let's use nano to edit the file. Okay. And nano user dir dot c o n f. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me see whether I can uh, enlarge the screen. Okay, uh, height a little bit. Okay, yeah. So far, so good, I guess. Yeah. All right. Okay, so okay, uh, again, okay, uh, it has okay, a couple of okay, uh, things that uh, you might want to pay attention to. Okay, so first of all, okay. Uh, over here, you mentioned that okay, uh, for any user or department, okay, in our case, okay, then okay, under the users okay, uh, account, okay, you have to create okay, a, a subdirectory called public underscore okay, HTML. Okay, yeah, so that is the, the first requirement. Okay. And once okay, you have okay, the directory created, then okay, you have to use the uh, change mode command. I will show to you in a minute. Okay. Uh, to set get that um, okay, uh, directory is okay, uh, SS mode get okay, to get okay, uh, 755, okay, 755. And again, I will show you how to do that again. Okay. Uh, but then the also the users get okay, uh, SS mode get okay, users own directory SS mode has to be changed to 711, okay, yeah. So this is kind of the Linux, I mean, the Apache thing, okay, so you have to do that, okay. All right, now let's get. Uh, Coming it out, okay, this one, okay, so you can see that by default, okay, user directory okay, is disabled, okay, but then we want to use it, okay, so coming it out, that one, and then also, okay, uh, enable it, okay, so remove the hash mark means comment, okay, so now, okay, uh, the user directory, okay, uh, every user directory will be, okay, uh, the web user's website, okay, uh, default directory will be uh, pop underscore uh, uh, HTML. When I was a student, okay, uh, it was okay, actually www, okay, but then anyway, let's just follow the convention, okay. Okay, then okay, uh, the, uh, okay, our next set of settings okay, will be for uh, all the users. Okay. So let me see, okay. uh, allowed override. Okay. So let me just delete okay, all those things and set it to all. Okay. Again, for testing purpose is fine. Okay, yeah. Options, okay. set it to none. Okay. And then uh, required method, uh, just leave it as a default, okay? So once you are done, you have done it, okay? Uh, use this uh, control X, okay? Uh, to exit, okay? Uh, press okay, Y to save the configuration file, press enter, okay? You are not going to change the file name, okay? All right, okay, so next one, okay, again, okay, uh, you have to do some uh, setting, okay? You have to do some setting, okay? on the uh, secure enhanced okay, Linux policy, okay? So let me give myself more room. Okay, it's a long comment to type, okay? So, okay, I don't need to use uh, sudo because uh, I'm the root user already, okay? Yeah. So set okay, se boolean, okay, that's capital P, httpd, okay, underscore, uh, enable underscore home okay, directories okay, and set it to true, okay, set it to true. Then you can get okay, uh, press the uh, enter key, okay. So there is the enter key, okay. Then you can press the enter key. And sometimes I got some typos, uh, no big deal, just retype it again, okay, yeah. All right, okay, let's wait. All right, so far so good. Another one gets set. Uh, S E okay. uh, Boolean okay. capital P HTTPD underscore okay. uh, unified okay unified okay. with a value of one and then press enter. Okay, oops. Okay. I guess that uh, I got some typo okay or something. Okay, comment found. Okay, oop got a typo here. Sorry. And that's why I say if you got a typo, uh, no big deal. Just just retype it again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So okay. Uh, step three. There. Right? Uh, when you add something, change something, always get okay, uh, uh, display something. Which means in this case, okay, how uh, we need to restart the uh, web server. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, restart a web server. Okay, oops, okay, I got typo. This is not my day today, I guess. A system, okay, CT, okay. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. All right, okay, so okay, now again, uh, it won't hurt to, get, to get, uh, do a, a check-in, okay? To do a check, quick check-in, okay? So uh, just get, uh, reload, okay, just reload. Uh, the okay, website okay, from another browser, make sure everything is fine. Okay, so now we got to okay, jump to the next page, okay? So next page okay, uh, will be, okay, uh, assuming that okay, the uh, department's head, okay, all the user, you're going to okay, uh, create okay, those directories on his or uh, own, okay? Yeah, so okay, then in that case, okay, uh, let me exit, okay, the, uh, root users privilege, okay, and let me clear the screen, okay, yeah. So now, okay, you can see that, okay, uh, I'm the uh, regular user. So assume that, okay, uh, the temp user, okay, has logged in, okay, and wants to uh, make a website, okay, uh, for him, okay, or herself, okay, yeah. So, okay, uh, let me do an LS, okay, so you can see that as of now, get okay, uh, uh, there is no directory called okay, public underscore HTML. Okay, so okay, we got to okay, do that. Okay, the user is going to do that. Okay, uh, so mkdir. Okay, and then public. Okay, public underscore HTML. Okay, press enter key. Okay, and then you can do an uh, ll ll. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you can see that. Okay, all uh, in case that uh, if you do not have the shortcut set up, okay, you can do an ls dash long, okay, yeah. Then you can see that uh, the directory, okay, public underscore, okay, uh, has been set up, okay. But then again, okay, uh, if you got a chance to, okay, uh, uh, check the uh, SS mode, okay, then you will know that okay, uh, it is not 755. We will take care of that later, okay? We'll take care of, take it, take care of that later. But then okay, a moment ago, get okay, in the um, uh, okay, uh, user directory.config file, okay, it mentioned that okay, the users get okay, own directory, okay, so which will be, okay, okay the, the uh, 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 attempt user, okay, need to have SS get okay, permission of 711. So let's get okay, uh, again do this get okay, uh, step four over here, okay? Step four over here. CD dot dot mean change one level up, okay? And then get okay, you can do an LS, okay? Then you can see that as of now, okay, there's only one user there, but then get okay, if you show the uh, permission, get okay, then you can see that. Or SS mode is not 711, okay? Yeah, 711. I'm not going to explain to you about okay, uh, those, uh, the meaning of those 10 characters, okay? I mean, I believe that uh, there is another okay, uh, video I have covered it, okay? Yeah, so, okay, uh, again, okay, let me do that. Okay, so change mode, okay? Uh, so again, okay, uh, step number six, okay? Change mode 711, okay? Um, temp user, okay, temp user. And then double check it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now uh, it got changed to 711. Okay, on the user's own directory. Okay, so so far so good. So let me do a CD, press enter key. Okay, uh, to go back to the current user's get directory. And then you can see that the public underscore htm, uh, HTML did not have the permission of 755. Okay. Okay, then I have the permission of 755. Okay, yeah. So this will be the uh, SS mode. Okay, should need to be 755. So now, okay, let me clear the screen. Okay, and then change mode. Okay, uh, 755. Okay, and public. Okay, public underscore HTML. Press enter key. Always double check it. Okay, yeah. So now, okay, the uh, Temp users get a uh, uh, public directory has the uh, uh, SS mode 755, okay, which is good, okay, so, which is good. All right, okay, so now, okay, we're going to do okay, uh, step nine, okay, we're going to 
create okay create a sub create a web page file okay for temp user okay yeah or temp user is going to create okay, a web page okay, for him or herself okay so again no file yet let's use nano okay to do it okay and the file name can be html index the html okay index htm is fine okay so again, okay, uh, this is not a course about web page, okay? So I'm not going to bother you okay, with all those detailed syntax, okay? Yeah, so we'll just quick, simply okay, create a file, okay? That's it, okay? A very simple one, for again, for testing purpose, okay? Yeah. So, okay, let's say, okay, welcome, okay, to temp, okay, temp users, okay? uh website you just keep it simple will be fine okay control x get to save it okay save the file okay yes all right okay so now we can get okay, uh do the checking locally first okay so again okay by convention get okay, by convention get okay, uh okay, after the domain name okay then get okay, you uh use the forward slash and followed by a tilde get okay, tilde and then the name of the user okay term user in this case data okay so okay uh, put in it right okay, that's it okay but then again uh okay be sure that okay, uh, the website is accessible okay from uh another okay, client machine okay yeah okay, so again okay this is the browser on my physical machine okay not in the uh, virtual box okay and then okay i'm going to do the same tilde okay Temp okay, user, okay, press enter key. Tada, you say, what just started? Yeah, I know. If, if someone okay, uh, have told you okay, what to do, really, it's really not that of a big deal. Okay, yeah. All right, have a good day. And then okay, uh, I hope this is okay, uh, useful to you. Okay, let me stop the recording. Okay, yeah, pretty neat, right? Okay, pretty neat, yeah.